Welcome back. In this segment, I will be providing instructions on setting up your email and MailChimp accounts. If you requested your email set up from the home office of BNA, you should have received your personal business email along with your password. You will need this for the next step in configuring your mail application, preferably on your mobile device. So let's get started. On your cell phone, you want to open up or mail client application. If you do not have one, download from the Google Play Store for Android devices or Apple Pay for iPhone users. There are plenty free apps to choose from, but the setup will be the same. Once you have the app open, you want to select Add an Account. The next screen will display many email providers like AOL, Gmail, and so on. You want to choose other because we will be using IMAP to set up your account. On the next screen, you will enter in your BNA email address and password, then select Advanced Settings. This will allow you to manually configure your mail client app. Once your Advanced tab page opens, it will display more fields to enter information. Your email and password should already be visible. Important fields to be filled in here is the host name, which you will enter mail.bna-usa.org. Use the default incoming and outgoing ports on your phone. But if you have issues, you can use the ports 993 for outgoing and 5887 for incoming. Once all of your fields are populated, select the Login button here at the top. If the configurations are right, your email is correctly set up and you will be taken to your confirmation screen where you will see your list of email accounts, including your newly established BNA email account. Congratulations, your BNA email is now live and active. Now come the fun part of using your email to set up your MailChimp account. Let's get started. One of the first things you want to do in setting up your MailChimp account is click the button below this video. A new page will open at the MailChimp website. I recommend starting out with the standard plan for $20 per month. MailChimp gives you a 30-day no-cost trial option and you can run bigger numbers. Keep in mind the law of large numbers, meaning the more exposure your message, the more conversions and signups you will achieve. If you properly utilize your free trial, you can cover your cost and generate the income to justify the cost of starting out at this level. Next, you will see the various pricing plans. But for the purposes of this tutorial, we will be selecting the free plan. You can always upgrade your plan later. As I mentioned, the bigger your campaigns will result in greater number of conversions. After selecting the free plan option, you will land on this page where you will need to enter your BNA email address and choose your password and select sign up. Next, MailChimp will send you an email to your BNA email account. Once you receive and open your email, click the Activate Your Account button in the email. Once you click Activate, you will be directed back to MailChimp site where you will need to enter your name and business you are representing. In this case, you will list Black Network Associate as the organization you will be representing. It is recommended leaving the phone number blank. By filling your number gives MailChimp the right to send and text offers from other affiliate partners and could result in charging you for the text messages received. Click Next when done. Next, you will end up back on the pricing plan. Once again, choose the free plan. The next page, MailChimp want to know what are your goals for creating your account. Here you will choose Drive Sales, Revenue, and Conversions, then click Next. You will also notice at the bottom of the page a progress meter. This is an indication of several more pages need to complete it before your account can be activated. So let's keep going. Next, MailChimp wants to know what features do you require most. Select Email Templates and Advanced Reporting. Click Next. Next, MailChimp wants to know how do you currently sell to your customers. For our organization, choose our own website and consultation process. Click Next. Next, MailChimp wants to know how many email contacts do you have. You will choose the start amount of 501 to 1500. Click Next. Next, MailChimp will import BNA website brand into your account. This is important because it will load in our logos and photos, so you will not have a need to physically import these items. The BNA website domain should be pre-populated, so all you have to do here is click Next to proceed to the next page. Next, MailChimp wants to confirm our industry. Click the drop-down menu and scroll all the way to the bottom of Options. 
then choose Administration of Housing Programs, Urban Planning and Community Development. Once again, MailChimp wants to confirm what plan you would like to choose. Again, select the free plan. You should get a screen preparing your account and in a few seconds be routed to your dashboard. Congratulations, your MailChimp account is now active. But before you get started, there are a few more things we must do to properly set up your account before you can start sending emails. The next thing we want to do is set up your unsubscribe page or in MailChimp terms, your subscriber preferences. So let's get started. From your main dashboard, the left-hand column, select audience. A new toggle down menu will display and then select subscriber preferences. Next, select build your preference center. This is the page that people who unsubscribe will see when they opt out of your communications which is a good thing because we sift for only the people that want to hear from us. But as you can see on the page, it has a generic elementary eyewear logo. We need to change this to the BNA logo. If you pulled in the brand during setup, you should be able to change it now. Simply click on the logo and select replace. If for some reason our branding did not carry over to your account from the BNA website, you will see a goose egg symbol, meaning there are no images to attach. No worries, we will be able to import the logo from a URL or link. Click drop down arrow next to the upload button and select import from a URL. Use logo link below this video, copy and paste into the URL field and click import. Now you can see that your unsubscribe page has been properly updated. You can also change the background color here at the bottom with the color toggle icon. Click save and continue. Next page, you can choose a custom URL for your preference page or use MailChimp. Select to use MailChimp. Next, MailChimp is letting you know you will not have to change these preferences from your email campaigns. Instead, you will make the changes here. Next, publish your preference center. And that's it. Congratulations, your preference center has been updated and published. Click Go to Dashboard. The next thing that needs to be done is authenticating the BNA website domain so you can send emails with a high-end look and professional finish. So let's keep going. From your main dashboard, wand over your profile in the upper right corner to display the drop-down menu and select account and billing. Next, select domains. On this page, select add and verify domain. Enter in your BNA email address. You will be sent an email verification code. Open your email and highlight and copy the code. Enter the verification code and click verify. Congratulations, your account has been authenticated and is ready to send emails using the bna-usa.org domain name. That concludes the email and MailChimp setup tutorial. Next, I will discuss how to compile your list and run your campaigns. I will also cover how affiliates realistically can achieve incomes of 100,000 in their first year using the standard MailChimp plan. Click complete and I will see you on the next section.